Alright, hello everybody, it is Lucky again, we are back for yet another Savage match, this time Demo against Ian, we've got Demo on the human side and Ian on the beast side, and right off the start we've got Ian going for a power mining summoner uh, in their base, and three guys going this north, uh, east way, while at the same time we've got the whole Demo team going towards the beast base, we'll see what about that, but... Let's see the beast, uh, I mean, demo base. We've got Tux farming a gold and one guard tower going up. And looks like demo is going for a garrison at the beast second mine. Do, do beast know about that? And looks like Cookie just scouted things out right now. And looks like Ian is gonna head towards the direction. We've got three Ians going there. I'll make that four. And the garrison is already up, so now it's gonna be a huge bunch of demos against a huge pack of Ian's. And we've got one Ian falling there, also one demo. It's pretty even so far. But in the end, looks like demo is gonna take an upper hand here. But meanwhile, at the same time, we've got Ian going for a, a rush sub <laughs> right on the west, I mean east path there <laughs> towards the stronghold uh, will it get scouted out maybe by tax? I don't know, he's still farming gold here so it doesn't look so while at the same time looks like demos are gonna now power mine uh, this second mine of beasts and they are also gonna try to crossbow the workers at the same time everybody is building the fire the, all the workers and all Ian players just trying to get the fire up and now sacrifice is surely on the way so once it's done Ian's gonna s suck the human base who are actually completely unaware of that because Tax is going the opposite direction so this subler stays unscouted now we got Fat Tony dying here as a last player there. No, there is still the Sis and she's still gonna fall. But that leaves Demo unaware of this sack rush just going on here. And with that said, we've got the whole Ian team spawning there. Oh my god, it's not even three minutes yet, and they look like they're gonna enter the human base clean. Still no spawns and oh my god they are going straight for the stronghold there is one spawn two spawns but it's not gonna be enough the stronghold goes down in less than three minutes oh my god I believe that was the fastest NSL game ever <laughs> oh my god so yeah with that said we've got 1-0 for Ian now and score wise I can't tell you how we score yeah there it goes 15 to 8 for Demo and 8 to 20 for Ian oh my god so yeah see you in the next round guys Alright, hello everybody, it is Lucky again, we're back for second round of Demo against Ian. Now we've got Ian on the human side, Demo of course on the beast side, we've got a uh, human going for a power mining garrison right in their base, one guy farming monkeys and looks like two guys are going through the middle towards the beast base, while at the same time we've got Demo going with four players, uh, this uh, west, southwest uh, side, will they subler downhill or will they go towards uphill? Yeah, it looks like they are going uphill, so either they are gonna go for harassment on workers or well, they will just try to build some rush subler. So, with that said, they are now almost uphill, and at the same time, we have no scouts yet for Ian. Looks like Lucky is gonna now go there. So, no, oh, actually, the sub is being placed nonetheless, and it's scouted immediately by Lakida. So, probably gonna go down with all the Ians. Yeah, all of the Ians are coming right now. So, Shagger's getting two hits there on Lucky, but yeah, it doesn't look like they will be able to hold it off. This Hunter, mm, yeah, Hunter Boss, it's called, right? Yeah. 
those bows are gonna be able just to finish off those demos and the subler goes down so right off the start we've got thousand redstones lost for demo that's not really good for them that's gonna hurt their economy especially with this power mining uh, subler in the base they're gonna have to find a second uh, source of redstones soon and with that said they're going for strata while human have electric already up I'm going for this guard tower here and the level 2 just popped up uh, we've got Fat Tony leaving the base going towards the north uh, east somebody going middle that's gonna be demon and at the same time there is Tax coming middle he's only half HP so one hit will kill him but doesn't look like this hit is gonna pop right now Oh, uh, let's see. Looks like Tony is gonna battle three guys here. Right off the start, I'm clueless getting already one hit on him. Ah, there is a hit on clueless. One more hit is gonna finish him off. And yes, there comes the hit. Tony getting another hit on Moxie. Now gonna go into melee, but behind his back is somebody. Now he's in a lot of trouble. But he gets a frag on Moxie. Only paintball left now for Tony. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there is a hit, but not really charged enough to deal a lot of damage. But oh my god, Tony gets triple kill there. Three against one. Really good job by him. And with that said, we've got a whole pack six ins coming downhill here. So they are probably gonna go for this mine or not. They are going uphill. With that said, we've got demos going towards a human second mine right here. So they are completely unaware of that the humans are right now entering their base. And looks like they are gonna go for Subler here. Will they? And at the same time, Ian's are already building the garrison. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. And there is this Subler. Right, being placed here. And we've got somebody from Demo Team scouting things out. It's gonna be paintball, but... Oh, he's facing against Flags. That's not gonna be good for him. Looks like he's gonna try to get a frag on RJ. He gets a nice hit, another one. Ah, uh, no, not enough. Maybe with this Tempest hitting there behind. So now we've got Demos actually holding their position right there. They wait for Ins to spawn just to deal some damage to spawners with Tempest. But at the same time, we've got Ins scouting this Sadler there and. To be honest, they are going to kill it if Demos won't fall back and try to defend it. Already four savages on it. And even an Alec buff right now, so this Saddler is more than likely to go down pretty soon, but... Let's see, Oldman falls there, but Saddler falls also, so... Yeah, looks like Lucky is gonna die there, and the rest of in no, no relocks, but oh... Well, Sadler is down like that. With that said, we've got Ballista entering the beast base right now. It's gonna be Demon shooting this lair, dealing a lot of damage, but alone he's not gonna be able to take it down. And with that said, we've got, I believe that was Bobby, uh, who killed all the workers. So, yeah. Now, sacrifice up for Demos. They are gonna try to take down this garrison here looks like no more ballistas are gonna be able to push further and we've got clueless with heal fire second heal just to suck this garrison oh man a lot of buffs being used just on this one guy and more ballistas now coming uphill but I don't know looks like many many demos are coming through right now such a blaze power there and we've got the sack wave coming on this garrison so it's probably gonna go down and down it goes even overkill <laughs> where is emesis like, oh shit i was late so yeah with that said we've got demo clearing this garrison but yeah no mm, team has yet mined from other than the base mines so a bit of a stalemate but still you have to remember that Demo lost this thousand at the beginning and they lost their workers now they're slowly struggling to get their economy back and with that said we've got in going for this garrison at the middle mine 
Looks like it's gonna go up and without any trouble because there, there are no scouts from Demo around this area yet. We well, got Shagrod around here just roaming. Probably gonna try to make a subler and a middle. But we got also Fat Tony now facing this Shagrod scout here. Uh, looks like a lot of blaze and nice job there by Shagrod. Oh, let's see. <laughs> we got Demon with Ballista now slowly rolling back. Now he's gonna eject. So yeah, do yeah actually beasts have enough redstones to build the solar. Did they sell something? Yeah, they sold their Nexus just to get the redstone for the subler. Yeah, it looks like it was only Nexus, so... Well, they are gonna have to power mine their way back now. Uh, let's have a look at the commander view, how much redstones they have in the mine. They have only 3000 redstones in the mine. So, well... They really have to get those resources because they are far back in tech now like sneakers and somebody gonna enter the base there. Bobby that's gonna be he has this magnetic power up but he's really low HP but he gets nonetheless the frag on Moxie and dies to Tempest in the process sneakers gonna relock so let's have a commander view for human we've got this shield here base is shielded and the garrison in the middle obviously let's have a look at this shield or anyways We've got one push here, so let's first watch this push. Looks like Ian scouted the Sabler right now. An old man gonna die to the nice Tempest there. And another guy is gonna relock instantly, seeing that there is no way to push in. But more Ians are gonna come in now, and that's gonna cost uh, Demo uh, power mining time. At the same time, looks like Cookie is denying his guard towers. And building a garrison to repair this shield, so... Playing it really passive, wise choice. Better safe than sorry, but at the same time, oh, not console. Yeah, we've got the whole pack of ins pushing towards the saddler, so Demo's gonna have to defend because they can't afford losing the saddler. Losing it would probably mean that they cannot afford another one unless they will wait with their tech long, long time. But with that said, we've got Demo's really handling their defensive mode really well yeah that was a lot of really but yeah they killed all those ins who were pushing in and looks like another one is gonna have to relock so let's have a look at how many redstones do they have saved up now 30 i mean 300 and this base is almost empty, but we've got the charm shrine now, so they are gonna probably tech or they are even taking right now. But another wave of ins, and actually the legioners now, so that's what I was talking about. The tech difference is huge, huge delay for beasts. And let's see if they are gonna be able to stop this wave. They even have demos now, so looks like demo will be facing a lot, a lot of. Uh, firepower right here and even Alec buff being used demos are blowing up right now so this Sadler is gonna fall no way to defend it now even one more lonely worker spawn there so many demos blowing up over kill there so yeah let's have another look at the beast commander looks like he has only 2000 redstones saved up in his mine right now and no second mine yet I mean, not yet, but he just lost one. We we'll have to think about getting another one. Looks like in spread a little bit now. Bobby facing a lot of tempesters now. So with that said, we've got Demo handling this hill, defending uh, with tempest. They have to watch not to get too close. Looks like Tax is gonna go in melee against Fat, uh, Fat Tony and it's gonna cost him life. Not Fat Tony relocating in the end. 
And Clemens farming a couple monkeys here. Probably waiting for the rest of his group to come in. So yeah, we've got three, four, five legionaries coming there. Probably gonna go for the beast base, try to take down this charm shrine as it as its most frontal tech. Uh, looks like Bobby gonna get adrenaline boost. We've got Clueless trying to be sneaky there, but not successful. Uh, yeah, with that said, we've got Lair level three now. So Praetor's on the way, probably. And Bobby placing a demo, but it's not gonna go off. But with that said, we've got three more Ians coming towards. The oh, Fire Ward finishing sneakers off as along with the Fire Buffer. So this not gonna, it's not gonna work. But with that said, we've got Ian already getting the garrison there, right behind his heel. They're not scouted yet, and. Well, that's a good garrison that control middle and let them push into the beast base easy. Easily, yep. I brushed my teeth not so long ago, and now you know I feel drier in my mouth. Can't really talk that much. Uh, yeah, but getting back to this clan war, we've got a couple of sacrifices going off, but not really working on those legionaries. They are just finishing things off, but well, not enough coil guns from uh, Ian, I believe, to fight against this tempest. They have to walk such a long distance just in order to uh, to be able to deal some damage with flux to to those tempesters. But <laughs> with that said, I was wondering, Bobby came in was wondering if he's gonna place the demo but well he wasn't because he just had the landmines there but with that said we've got the demo from GS Golden Saint being placed and blowing up on this charm shrine and it's already below half HP so yeah nice Ian has to push there they have to continue this push all the time Kill the tech because basically Demo can't afford rebuilding them. They have 1,300 redstones left and no in the mine. So Demo could try to go for a sneaky saddler, but at the same time they have to spend those players defending. And with that said, we've got RJ placing the Demo right between those landmines, and it's gonna be enough. The charm shrine goes down, uh, so no more siege for Demo. And even more pushes coming in now. Bobby placing more fire. Uh, I mean, what the hell? Not fire wars, but uh, landmines. Clemens with Alec buff gonna place the demo and blow up Shagger and Moxie, who were going in for the uh, not deploying it. Oh my god, I lost the words. Defusing it. Yeah, that's it. And with that said, we've got Ian going for this garrison. Uh, down here in the corner three workers building it so probably gonna give another route to push for in looks like lucky is actually covering this route making sure that nobody is coming in and killing those workers and now in with more coil guns they're gonna be able to fight against the tempest even the ballista there is it in range not even close and now with predators, Demo probably gonna transfer a little bit into melee weapons. And with that said, we've got Bobby again without Demo. Just the uh, landmines gonna get a frag and die in the process. So. Yep. Uh, well, we've got the garrison right here almost uphill and even the gutter going up behind it. So Probably gonna be a shield That's gonna be a firm push for in and with that said we've got Promethean uh, Going from behind towards this garrison 
He's gonna activate his sacrifice and there goes demon with immobilizers. <laughs> Promethean has to be like, oh shit, fuck it, no. And down he goes. But yeah, that's a really good idea on demo side. They have to suck down this garrison from behind and as long as it's not shielded, it's not gonna be that difficult with good moxie playing sneaky here and oh it looks like he's gonna get immobilized again and he's like damn you demon and down he goes <laughs> yeah that's funny how, how sneaky was playing and then he gets scouted out anyways but with that said we've got another push towards the beast base strata and arcana are half down so two demos placed and blow up on this tech and it will go down it looks like Ian have a lot of problem trying to get through this corner there. Demo going, doing good job defending there. Even the Blaze now to finish off the Ballista in behind. The Ballista that wasn't yet in range of any tech. So good job from Demo. Oh um, well. Looks like Ian trying to push still. Demon gonna fall there. Another push coming from behind this corner. Looks like they're gonna make their move into the beast base. Not scouted out yet, but there are firewalls being placed on this tech. Uh, server is a little bit laggy there. Or maybe it's not server, it's just Clemens. And he places the demo, but no elec buff for him. And demo is gonna be not deployed, but defused. Yes. And also, Fat Tony has to relock there. So yeah, we got demo stack with thousand redstones, thousand and four, seven thousand gold. They have to farm this gold and try to defend as long as they can. But with that said, there is really no chance for them to win like this so that's gonna mean they are gonna even if they w draw it right now they're gonna just deny one point from Ian but not get a single point for themselves and uh, looks like at the same time the old man was putting a lot of shots on this fire shrine which is gonna be now repaired by sergeant and tags so well yep how is this garrison doing? Is it going down? Actually, right as I said it, there are two demos coming in with sacrifice activated. Looks like Shaggle will also blow and there goes the garrison down. So yeah, that's at least one route that being that's being blocked now. No spawner. Inns are now stacked just to push from this uh, west side. With that said, we've got GS entering the base, but he's on his own. Oh, and with that said, we've got more Ians coming from the middle here. And let's see. GS relocating. And the fire buff allowing Shagrod to finish off some guys there. But Bobby getting nice Alec finishing Shagrod off. Gonna try to free swing one of those Predators. And so he does. Promethean dies there in process and... Oh, even so, not gonna be able to push towards this tech. So again, a good job from Demo. They do what they can to defend her. Uh, let's see, there is somebody hiding from me behind this tree. It's gonna be Shagrod. He's gonna get those monkeys to get some stamina. Getting a hit on GS, getting a coiled in his face, but down he falls. So that's gonna be it for his defending. And we've got Tax with Blaze there. Oh, being hit and falling onto the landmine. And also Stringer dies there. So that's an open way for Ian towards the beast base. We've got five more seconds till the spawn. And there goes the spawn, but not really that much gold saved up for Demo. Only two Predators, one Stalker, and one Scavenger. And oh, two Demos being placed, but they are being. Oh my god, one of them blows up and there is another demo going off on this Arcana and it blows. So actually Arcana is down, Strata is so low that Sneakers is not gonna be able to 
kill this Strata, but we've got one Ballista there. It's not scouted out yet, and nobody's there to kill it, actually. So fire is gonna go down, and Arcana is being rebuilt, but without fire, no blaze there to take down uh, those Ballistas coming in. And if they take down Strata, that's gonna cost Demo a lot. And we've got Oldman in the Ballista shooting now towards the lair. And well, now Demo is facing a lot of trouble. They lost their last mean of killing the tech, and also a great power up fire buff that's so helpful in defending. And with that said, we've got Bobby finishing off this strata, so no range weapons anymore for Demo. Arcana is also being damaged. There are two Demos placed on it, so it's gonna fall more than likely. Looks like Demos will spawn in seven seconds, but till then they will have no tech left, I believe. There are two Predators spawning already. There is a spawn wave, but only two Starkers. Looks like they are, they are gold stuffed, and that's gonna be the game. Now Nexus will also fall, looks like. Yes, so it does. And there is a demo placed on Lair and is even being hit now by Ballista from behind. Looks like Sergeant is gonna try to get to this Ballista, but he's not gonna be able to. So yeah, the Lair will be going down very soon now. And the frag wise we've got 138 to 67 for Ian and 67 to 156 for Demo. And yeah, Ian takes it 2-0. Well, an interesting match. So, good game. Well played, both teams. And see you in the next shortcut, guys.